Hello, beloveds. Welcome to the next episode of the video blog. Today, I'd like to talk with you about a potential revision to Article 2 of the Unitarian Universalist Association, or UUA, bylaws. Now, I know some of you must be thinking, what is that and why should I care? So here is a brief overview. The UUA is the elected, representative, supportive, and administrative nonprofit body of our UU movement. Our congregations, fellowships, and other UU identity organizations vote to elect the president or chief staff officer of the UUA, as well as its board of trustees. And once a year, representatives from all of these organizations come together at our annual General Assembly for learning, fellowship, and discussion and voting on business that the UUA will carry out on our behalf, as well as public statements we might want to make together as a UU faith movement. Well, not too long ago, we appointed a commission to study Article 2. Article 2 contains our current covenant that we will affirm and promote seven principles. To that, it was possible that an eighth principle this congregation has adopted would be added, as well as the sources of our faith. We've taken a look at our covenant that's contained in Article 2 over the years many times, sometimes changing it as history and our UU movement have changed and progressed. Well, this time the commission is recommending that we do change Article 2, and that matters because Article 2 is our covenant. Our covenant expresses how we will move together into the future in the ways of love as an overall UU faith, as a faith without creed, covenant, relationship is at the core of who we are as a faith. Well, they've recommended replacing our current principles with a set of values. However, they've tried to capture the essence of our principles within those values. And in fact, I held a session here at the church with a group of wonderful folks who did indeed seem to think that the values that are being expressed, which are centered in love, do at least hold the essence of our principles, although some more than others. And I think the group felt that the wording describing the values could do a better job of that in some instances. If you were at that session and don't agree, let me know. For me also as a minister, expressing our faith rooted in a set of values is more spiritual. It's both broader and deeper in some ways, but that's just my opinion. Well, I want to give you a chance to express your opinion about this. I will try to schedule some more sessions before our General Assembly that's coming up at the end of June, will this, where this will be voted upon and discussed further in person. But in case I'm not able to do that, because we have so much going on in the church, I'm having trouble finding times that don't conflict with other things that are happening, and because there are some deadlines to be able to give input online coming up, I want to send you a link with this video. You can go to the link to an online form that's due by April 30th and provide your input. And in May, there will be three online sessions that you'll find at that link where you can discuss this further, learn more about it, and again, express your thoughts on what's being recommended as far as changing Article 2, the covenant of our faith. Let's remember, please, that the commission is a group of folks that are our fellow UUs. They've spent a lot of time on this. They've done a lot of research. They've done a lot of talking with other UUs across the country. So let's provide our feedback, but let's respect them and, and respect the work that they've already done. At the link, you'll be able to look at what the history of this is, what research this commission did, and what they're recommending. And of course, if you have questions or want to talk more, I am happy to get with you about that. Let's look at our covenant. Let's help our faith decide how we're going to move together in the ways of love into the future of our faith.